Have you ever wondered why today's modern ranges don't have pilot lights? Well, to understand that, you have to understand why we had pilot lights in the first place. Well, gas ranges, gas dryers, gas ovens, gas water heaters, furnaces, everything all had pilot lights. And if you think about all the pilot lights burning 24-7, that's a lot of energy that's being wasted. So in order to fix that problem, what they did, they came up with a new electronic ignition system. And here's how it works. In the old days, or I should say back in the day, when you turn the stove on, a lot of people think this is instantaneous, but it's not. Gas would come out, these holes here, but there's also three little holes in front here. And the gas would shoot out it, hit the pilot light, the heat from the pilot light would ignite the gas, it would flash back, light these three little holes which gas come out of them, and then light all these here. Okay, that was how it worked with pilot lights. So to make it work without a pilot light, the principle is exactly the same, except this time it uses the heat from a spark instead of a heat from a pilot light. So when you first turn the stove on, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it or not, but if you listen, you can hear the click. And what that is, is a spark occurring under here. And the same thing is occurring, the gas is coming out of here, hitting the spark, and the heat from the spark ignites the gas, comes back here, lights the burner, and it stays on until you shut it off. Now, a common problem we have with these is we'll get a call and somebody say, well, three of the burners work, but the fourth one doesn't work. And once you understand the theory of operation, the fix is really very simple. If you've ever boiled potatoes or boiled something on here and you've had it spill over, what happens is the water, in the case of potatoes, the starch water, go, spills over here and it covers over the holes. Now, when you turn the burner on, the gas comes out of here, but it doesn't come out these holes and it can't go down the little tube, hit the hot spark, and come back. So what happens is you just have gas coming out. So the easy fix is just to take off the grate, which we've already done here, and take a needle or something else sharp and just clean out the three little holes so the gas can again come out, travel on the tube, get the hot spark, and ignite 